More snow expected for the summits of Hawaii. Second snow warning reissued now. Two feet of snow on December 1st and 2nd. Now another foot going to roll through through the 3rd, 4th, and 5th. The winter snowstorm warning out for all of the Big Island summits. Heavy drifting snow and freezing fog in Hawaii normally don't go together in the same sentence. The first drop of snow on December 1st, visible after the second where there were two feet of snow. A few shots coming in here of those down on the coastline areas. Uh, further up the face of the volcano heading up to Mount Kea. Aerial shots here. This is from CBS US News on December 3rd. Snow depths just after the storm was ending at the observation area. Brief respite, but whoosh, back in. Storyful covered this one. Another foot of snow being dumped with high winds. And here's what the cams look like at the end of December 3rd. Drifting snow, five feet deep with average three foot snow depths at the peaks. This image, multiple peaks, receive snow. USA Today weather covering it as well. Speaking of cold temperatures, those of you who've been asking when this cold is arriving in the United States that's going to break all these records, that'll be 30 degrees Fahrenheit below normal temperatures. Wait no longer. It's arriving today. That's going to sweep through the next three days until December 8th and 9th. Records kept back to the 1880s will be broken as this storm sweeps through. Taking a look out two weeks into the snowfall totals, you can find your area on the map, and this will cover over the next two weeks how much snowfall you receive. This just sounds like something a little bit more serious and unusual. At least two people have died overnight as Melbourne fell victim to an extremely rare but deadly outbreak. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, look, I've been an emergency physician uh, for about 35 years, uh, worked in a number of hospitals, and I can say hand on heart that I haven't actually seen this before. The weather change also triggered a major medical emergency. The city, would you believe, ran out of ambulances. It comes as at least one expert declares the emergency the worst of its type in global history. Uh, and what has been particularly unique about this public health emergency here in Victoria was the impact on so many people that have never had asthma before, that have never had any indication of any respiratory problems, uh, and we've never seen anything like it either in our state or in Australia. Has prompted warnings to residents about bats falling from the sky. What are your thoughts sort of heading into January and, and February? Yeah, we certainly, this one's taken us by surprise because November, which is normally one of our hotter months, uh, it's uh, certainly taken us a little bit by surprise. You are back at home, over a dozen wildfires have now forced thousands to flee eastern Tennessee. Please, Lord, let us get off this mountain. By early evening, wind speeds suddenly doubled, turning into hurricane force winds that topped 87 miles per hour. Hours later, the unimaginable. This whole place is on fire. How would you describe this? The gates of hell. The gates of hell. Flames closed in on the Park Vista Hotel in downtown Gatlinburg. People trapped inside recorded video on their cell phones as the fire burned. The lights flickered on and off in the smoke-filled lobby where guests were forced to wear masks. Wildfires continue to burn across Israel. Some near Jerusalem and Tel Aviv are out of control. Nearly 80,000 people have been evacuated. Alarming wave after wave of environmental change. The winds are howling 50, 60 miles per hour. Sweeping planet Earth, increasing in intensity and frequency say a vast majority of scientists. 